Luke 5, 12-26 Invitation to a Changed Life One day in one of the villages, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him in prayer and said, If you want to, you can cleanse me. Jesus put out his hand, touched him, and said, I want to be clean. Then and there his skin was smooth, the leprosy gone. Jesus instructed him, Don't talk about this all over town. Just quietly present your healed self to the priest, along with the offering ordered by Moses. Your cleansed and obedient life, not your words, will bear witness to what I have done. But the man couldn't keep it to himself, and the word got out. Soon a large crowd of people had gathered to listen and be healed of their ailments. As often as possible, Jesus withdrew to out-of-the-way places for prayer. One day, as he was teaching, Pharisees and religion teachers were sitting around. They had come from nearly every village in Galilee and Judea even as far away as Jerusalem, to be there. The healing power of God was on him. Some men arrived carrying a paraplegic on a stretcher. They were looking for a way to get into the house and set him before Jesus. When they couldn't find a way in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof, removed some tiles, and let him down in the middle of everyone, right in front of Jesus. Impressed by their bold belief, he said, Friend, I forgive your sins. That set the religion scholars and Pharisees buzzing. Who does he think he is? That's blasphemous talk. God and only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew exactly what they were thinking and said, Why all this gossipy whispering? Which is simpler, to say, I forgive your sins, or to say, get up and start walking? Well, just so it's clear that I'm the Son of Man and authorized to do either or both. He now spoke directly to the paraplegic. Get up, take your bedroll, and go home. Without a moment's hesitation, he did it got up, took his blanket, and left for home, giving glory to God all the way. The people rubbed their eyes, incredulous, and then also gave glory to God. Awestruck, they said, We've never seen anything like that.